If you got a UX design product design internship, well, first, congratulations. Well done. When did I do my five internships? Ah, time flies. In this video, I will cover a few things that I highly, highly recommend all design interns doing during the internship to further advance their design career. Let's roll the intro. <music> Good morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. There are about three things, give or take, that I highly recommend all design interns do over the summer or during the internship. This video is very simple and straightforward, so let's dive right in. The first thing you must do as a design intern, have a coffee chat with people you want to meet. This is essentially just an opportunity to learn from those professionals or the designers that are working in the industry. See what inspired them, how did they get to where they were at the moment, and what were their stories, what difficulties have they faced when they were advancing their career. And you can of course ask them about your work, your portfolio. They could certainly give you some helpful insights and feedback. And if you have questions that bother you, definitely there's a great time to ask them. When I was interning at Google, I had a coffee chat with the VP of design or the director of design of Google Daydream, the, the VR division. I asked them about industrial design versus user experience design, why they took certain path and what propelled them, what, what drove their decisions, so that I can form my own opinion, my own thoughts to decide which path I wanted to take. Which led to one video that I explained why I switched from industrial design to user experience design. And of course, that is just my take. After you talk to several people, you might get some new insight, new experience, new journey that might change your mind, but in a different way. It's always good to get another perspective, right? And when you're talking to them, of course, you are building a network, but not in a forced way. It's a really natural and genuine connection that you're making. You're really interested in something, other designer's story. You have questions that you want to answer because they're in your head all the time. So the nature of the conversation is very authentic, very genuine. So it's not like you're doing it for the sake of doing it. And that's actually how I met one of my favorite designer friends, I would say, that actually introduced me to the Soli team at Google, that they have a really tiny radar chip that can sense different human emotions from small movement to larger scale that you're approaching something or you are leaving. So that later on, I was able to do a small project with them, which was really cool. From my experience, when I was intern at Google, since there's a company directory, I can look up different people in a company and I scheduled a coffee chat almost every week. So I meet a new person every week from entry level designer to a prototyper to more senior level, director level, uh, VP level, maybe not VP level. But you get the idea, a range of different designers from different uh, levels. All you have to do is to send them an email, intro who you are, you want to have a coffee chat with them. They tend to be really friendly and nice. When you ask them, they will just say yes if they're not busy that day. One note is that make sure you have your questions laid out or listed, or you know what you are asking or talking about, so that you don't waste their time just to be nice from your end too. And that concludes the first one, scheduling coffee chats with people you want to meet. And next is the second thing that you must, must do as an intern. I highly, highly recommend that you work with a product manager and maybe even an engineer on a project that eventually will be shipped. This is actually pretty important. Important enough that I made a video for it. Why schools failed my design interviews. In the video, I specifically talk about how in school you do not work with product manager or engineers. So in the interview, when those questions come up, you have no idea what to answer. And this, your internship, is the way to fill this gap. When you work with a product manager or engineer, make sure that you can describe your experience working with them, which means you should probably have more interaction with them so that you can really understand what the end-to-end -end flow or the collaboration is like. Think about the interaction between the two. How do you guys talk? What is the meeting cadence every day, every two days? What is discussed in the conversation? Any compromise made and how were those compromises made? What was the journey? Maybe even want to take notes, have a journal, document your experience so that when you finish the internship, you have something to refer to. And make sure the project scope is big enough, big enough that you can put on your portfolio. Present it with a story, an internship project on your portfolio it's really a must. That really showcase what you did in an internship actually have a real world impact because it will be shipped. So if it's just some experimental project, 
it's cool, but try to get a project that will actually be shipped because if a project is shipped, that means the company cares about it enough, which means the work that you are doing is valuable to the company. So that will look really good on your resume and pave a nice path for your future career. One tip for this one is you can actually plan out your project on your portfolio first. So work on it in the reverse order. You can outline several things that you want for this internship project on your portfolio. Maybe you want hero image, really nice rendering. You need to, you want to solve a problem, a real business problem. And do you want to have exploration, you have research, testing, uh, you have a second iteration, blah, blah, blah. After you lay all of those out, you have a sense of what you need to tackle. Then just do those during your internship. And then the third thing you must do as an intern is that ask your manager about things. The first thing you might want to ask is, how did you do during the internship? What is the evaluation? What's the assessment? Is it doing good? Is it okay? It's all completely missed the mark. And naturally, you could transition to a discussion whether the company have headcount or will have headcount for a return offer for you. And then of course, very important, as the nature of designers, we know design thinking, iterations, right? You want to iterate on yourself. You want to see what you do well, mostly what you did not do well or what you can work on. So you can directly ask your manager, what do they think that you should work on next? Uh, what are some of the areas of improvement? Because they are already working in the industry for so many years, they will know what kind of traits for designers, what quality of design they're looking for or they need, or it's kind of an unspoken standard. Then when you ask them, they could point you to the right path, literally a clear right path, and then you just have to do it, which was way better than you were just guessing what you should do next. Oh, maybe my motion design is weak. Mm, let me work on that. Oh, maybe my visual design is not good. Hmm, is it? Hmm. By asking directly, you could save you so much time. And anything they tell you will be a lot better than what your teachers told you. You can also ask your manager if they know anybody from your favorite company, they might be able to connect you to. When I was at Waymo, my manager actually connected me with another senior level designer who actually worked at both Apple and Airbnb, two of my favorite companies. And so that I can have a chat with him later on down the road to really understand the design culture or just the company culture in general, what is it like to work there for both companies, which is very valuable because it's first-hand information that you might not be able to get from just Googling. So those are the three main things I highly, highly recommend that you do or must do during your design internship. And there are other things, somewhat minor, but also important that I will include here as well. Number one, you should really have fun with your intern friends, build a long lasting relationship. I personally make some great friends at Pinterest that I still talk to, that I travel with or hang out with from time to time. Number two, of course, update your resume with that internship experience. What your role is, what did you do, what tools you used, what impact you made. Duh. Number three, get the email, phone number, LinkedIn contact with people that are important to you. Maybe it's your manager, maybe it's your designer interns or designer friends, people that you had coffee chats with, other designers on your team, maybe designers on other team, or maybe they are even just product managers or engineers, people that you feel like you have a great time working with, that you really have a great synergy with when you're collaborating, make sure you know how to contact them in the future. This was actually very handy. When I was applying for my first full-time job to DoorDash, they have a stage called a reference check, which means they would just need a list of contact from my previous managers so that they will call my previous managers and talk to them so my previous managers can tell DoorDash how I did in the internship, whether I was a good fit, whether I was a good designer, what was my work ethic was like, which will help inform their hiring decision. So if you did a bad job in the previous internships, then there's nothing really your potential new manager will get from the phone call. And you know, I got that full-time job at DoorDash, so I guess my five internships were not bad. A three-month design internship is in fact very, very short. So definitely learn a lot from your peers, your intern friends, your design team, your manager, product managers, engineers. Have lots of fun hang out with your intern friends, designer friends, whoever new friends you made, go to parties with them, have a great time. As they say, work hard, play hard. I know it's a cliche, but it's becoming more true 
as I'm doing it more and realize the philosophy behind it more every day. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful and insightful, please go ahead and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, also consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you in the next video. Cheers.